Eva Marie Saint turns 100, look back at 10 of her most iconic roles. Eva Marie Saint is hitting triple digits. Hello please click join button to help me get equipments and make more quality videos for you, or you know just to get me a juice. Thanks already. The screen star and Oscar and Emmy winner turns 100 on July 4, 2024. Over her nearly 70-year career Saint has starred alongside Marlon Brando Elizabeth Taylor Cary Grant and Richard Burton and worked with directors like Alfred Hitchcock Elia Kazan and Fred Zinnemann. According to her alma mater Bowling Green State University the actress has amassed more than 161 credits from the stage to the big and small screens. Among the productions to her name are the Academy Award winning on the waterfront Hitchcock's North by Northwest the book to film adaptation because of Winn-Dixie and the animated series The Legend of Korra. The longer you live I think really the smarter you get Saint told film historian Robert Osborne during an interview at the TCM Classic Film Festival in 2014. Because you've been around you've been with people you've seen things you've gone through different emotional experiences in your own life. And hopefully as an actress that makes you a better actress because you can understand things better. From her breakthrough in On the Waterfront to a voice acting gig in her late career here are 10 of Eva Marie Saint's most notable roles. Columbia TriStar Elia Kazan's On the Waterfront was Eva Marie Saint's feature film debut. In the 1954 crime drama she portrayed Edie Doyle the sister of a man murdered by a mob boss and the love interest of Marlon Brando's Terry Malloy. For her performance she won the Oscar for Best Supporting Actress which she famously accepted two days before giving birth to her first child with husband Jeffrey Hayden Darrell. Silver Screen Collection Based on a Broadway play of the same name A Hatful of Rain saw Eva Marie Saint take on the role of Celia Pope the wife of Don Murray's Johnny Pope. At the time the 1957 film was praised for its honest depiction of the toll drug addiction can take on familial relationships and physical health. Metro Goldwyn Mayer. In one of Alfred Hitchcock's most famous and acclaimed works, Eva Marie Saint played Agent Eve Kendall, a clever government official who eventually falls in love with Cary Grant's Roger Thornhill. Saint received praise for her performance as the femme fatale in the 1957 spy thriller, particularly for her chemistry with Grant. Eva Marie Saint continued her run of successful movies into the 60s, starring in the war thriller 36 Hours as German nurse Anna Hedler. In the 1964 film she assists a Nazi Germany doctor, Rod Taylor, in convincing an American military intelligence officer, James Garner, that the war is over to obtain information about the D-Day invasion. As Claire Hewitt the wife of Richard Burton's Dr. Edward Hewitt Eva Marie Saint appeared alongside the actor and his then-wife Elizabeth Taylor. The 1965 drama told the story of Edward's affair with the mother of a student at his boarding school, played by Taylor, and was the third of eleven films starring the decades it couple. Michael Oakes Archives Amid the Cold War Canadian filmmaker Norman Jewison released the comedy The Russians Are Coming The Russians Are Coming. Featuring Alan Arkin Eva Marie St. Carl Reiner and more. Saint played a supporting role as Elspeth the wife of Reiner's Walt Whitaker as the family comes into contact with the crew of a stranded Russian submarine. Everett Eva Marie Saint's portrayal of snob socialite Lil Van Deacon Altimus in the NBC miniseries People Like Us won her a primetime Emmy for Outstanding Supporting Actress. Alamy. Adapted from the 2000 children's novel of the same name because of Winn-Dixie placed Eva Marie Saint in the shoes of eccentric librarian Miss Franny Block. The older woman recounts stories from her life to protagonist India Opal Biloni played by Anna Sophia Robb in her feature film debut. At age 81, Eva Marie Saint played Martha Kent the adoptive mother of Brandon Routh as Superman. The film became one of 2006's highest grossing films earning over $391.1 million. Nickelodeon Late in her career Eva Marie Saint stepped into the recording booth to voice an elderly Katara in the Avatar, the last Airbender sequel series The Legend of Korra. The actress appeared in five episodes across the show's four seasons which aired from 2012 to 2014.